Today is day 34 of the Omer, which is Yasod Shebe Hod. Once again, that is Yasod Shebe Hod. Yasod is spelled Y A H S O D Shebe Hod H O D. You will also see Yasod spelled Yesod Y E S O D, but those within the unleavened Mashianic faith system, we know and believe that Father Yahweh's name is within all things, even the spiritual attribute of Yasod. So once again, we spell that Y-A-H-S-O-D. This isn't our first time hearing about Yasod either. We've been focusing on it during each week, a day within each week for the past several weeks. But as a reminder, Yasod also has many meanings within it which include foundational truths of Father Yahweh, which we can find within his Torah, Sadi, which is righteousness, how to be righteous, Sadiq, the righteous one, Sadakim, the righteous ones. It also is a connection and bonding between the Sadakim, the righteous ones, and Father Yahweh. And lastly, it also has within it the meaning of sod, which is Yahweh's revelation knowledge, the ultimate level within Father Yahweh's revelational knowledge, which allows Yahweh Desh, his set-apart spirit, to come upon us and to work through us. Shalom and welcome to another episode of 49 Days and 49 Ways. My name is Ahavia and I'm so grateful to be with you all today. During the past few days, we have been focusing on this weekly attribute of Hod. And Hod means or has within it the meaning of humility as well as splendor, steadfastness, as well as the esteem of Father Yahweh. So with all of that being said and known, today, Yasod Shebe Hod, which is day 34 of the counting of the Omer, we are recognizing that there are righteous ones around us to help us remain steadfast in the things of Yahweh and how to be faithful onto Yahweh. We do not have to um, go on this journey by ourselves, Father Yahweh has placed righteous individuals around us, and as long as we grab a hold to them, we are able to grow in our faith and grow in the Torah. Another thing that this day also helps us identify is what a righteous one of Father Yahweh looks like. It's so easy to say what righteousness looks like, but we know that Hod means humility, to humble ourselves before Yahweh. What does it mean to humble ourselves before Yahweh and the things of Father Yahweh? Well, in order to identify those things, we have to open up Father Yahweh's Torah. As you all know, within Father Yahweh's Torah, there are the 613 mitzvot of Father Yahweh. The mitzvot are teachings, instructions, guidelines, pathways, boundaries that Father Yahweh has given to his people, his mishpika, his family, so that we may live a lifestyle that is pleasing to Father Yahweh. So how are we able to identify righteous ones around us so that we can enter into a fellowship and in a relationship with them? We are able to do so by looking at their lifestyle and examining whether their lifestyle and our lifestyles reflect the 613 mitzvot of Father Yahweh. Are they keeping Shabbat? Are they keeping the Moadim, the appointed times of Father Yahweh? Are they observing Shavuot? Are they observing Pesach? Are they keeping the dietary restrictions that Father Yahweh has laid out and identified within the Torah? These are just a few ways in which we're able to identify righteous ones within our lives. Also, what this day is teaching us is how to enhance our connection and our bond with Father Yahweh. How are we to continue to be righteous in his eyes? We can do so by one, tefillah, which is prayer unto Father Yahweh. That is how we strengthen our bond between us and Father Yahweh. Oftentimes, we are praying for Father Yahweh to give us a sign on what we should do in um, our 
different situations, whether there's an obstacle or whether we're looking for guidance, Father Yahweh is telling us through this day to seek that connection through prayer. He will deliver the insight and the guidance and the directions that we need and that we've been praying for. So today is the day in which we enhance our prayer relationship with Father Yahweh by enhancing that bond, that connection with Him. So I pray within the next 24 hours as we look at our lifestyle as it relates to Yasod Shebe Hod, we are asking ourselves as righteous ones, Yasod, are we humbling ourselves to Father Yahweh by seeking His revelation knowledge and His guidance through prayer? Are we enhancing our bond and our connection with Father Yahweh? Another way we can examine our lifestyle within day 34 of the counting of the Omer is by asking ourselves as righteous ones, are we humbling ourselves and removing friendships that do not serve us? Are we looking at our friendships and our relationships and analyzing them according to the Torah? Is there room for us to invite more righteous ones, Yahudim or Sadakim, within our lives? And if so, how do we enhance that connection or bond with others? Thank you so much for joining us this day, day 34 of the Counting of the Omer, and please stay tuned for the prayer. Baruch Ata Yahweh, Yahweh, Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu, Bemitzvotav, Vitzivanu, all Sefirat HaOmer. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Almighty One, King and Ruler of the Universe, who has set us apart with his mitzvot and instructed us concerning the counting of the Omer. Today is 34 days, which is four weeks and six days of the Omer. May the Merciful One restore unto us the service of the Bet HaMikdash to its place speedily in our days. Amen. For the choir master, a song with instrumental music, a psalm. May Yahweh be favorable to us and bless us. May he make his countenance shine upon us forever. That your way be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. The nations will extol you, O Yahweh. All the nations will extol you. The nations will rejoice and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples justly and guide the nations on earth forever. The peoples will extol you, O Yahweh. All the peoples will extol you, for the earth will have yielded its produce, and Yahweh, our Mighty One, will bless us. Yahweh will bless us, and all from the farthest corners of the earth, shall fear him. We implore you, by the great power of your right hand, Yeshua HaMashiach, release the captive. Accept the prayer of your people. Strengthen us, purify us, Yasam One. Mighty One, we beseech you, guard as the apple of the eye those who seek your oneness. Bless them, cleanse them, Bestow upon them forever your merciful righteousness. Powerful, Kadosh, set apart one, and your abounding goodness guide your congregation. Only and exalted one, turn to your people who are mindful of your Kadoshness. Accept our supplication and hear our cry. You who know secret thoughts, Blessed be the name of the esteem of his kingdom forever and ever. Master of the universe, you have commanded us through Moshe, your servant, to count Sefirat HaOmer in order to purify us from our evil and uncleanness. As you have written in your Torah, you shall count for yourselves from the day following the day of rest, from the day on which you bring the Omer as a wave offering. The counting shall be for seven full weeks. Until the day following the seventh week shall you count fifty days, so that the souls of your people, Yisrael, may be cleansed from their defilement. Therefore, 
May it be your will, Yahweh our Mighty One, and the Mighty One of our scriptural forefathers, that in the merit of the Sefirat HaOmer, which we and I have counted today, the blemish that we and I have caused in the Sefirah, Yasod, Shebehod, be rectified, and we and I may be purified and set apart with your Kadoshness. May abundant bounty thereby be bestowed upon all the worlds. May it rectify our Nefesh, our Ruach, and our Neshama from every baseness and defect. And may it purify and set us apart with your Kadoshness. Amen.